show. Exclusive to Rhythm FM and Silver Bear TV. Welcome back, amazing kids. Welcome back. Did you do the happy dance? Did you do the happy dance? Yes, it's an exciting morning. It's still the Amazing Kids show. If you're just joining us, don't worry. We've not gotten right into the show yet. So you are still early. You're still early. It's the Amazing Kids show, your number one show for kids on television and radio. And my name is Victory Wilson. I told you earlier on that we have an amazingly talented guest in the studio with me today. There's an exciting thing that's happening right now. Amazing Kids we have <clears throat> africa going to the world nigeria going to the world and disney just released a new beautiful animation series the first ever africanized animation series so when i say africanized or afrocentric i mean that this series or this movie you know amazing kids like you know is centered on africa you don't have your normal Disney characters, you know, the white characters. This time around, we're having blacks, kids that are as black as you are in the movie, in the series. And it's a new one that they just released. It's titled Iwaju. And an exciting thing is that one of those characters in that Disney movie is here in the studio with me. Isn't that exciting? Woo! So I'm excited to have one of the cast of Iwaju African or Afrocentric movie series by Disney. Her name is Simisola Badamasi. Hi, Simisola. Hello. Is this how you started in the movie? Hello. No, no. No, I was younger. Sound, my let, voice let's try was... to sound like that. Um, can you try? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Now you're I, older. I was yeah. younger and my voice was my normal voice. I was just talking. Yeah, it was your normal voice. But you can always try yeah. now. See, I can mm -hmm. talk like a baby. Hello, Sibisola. How are Hello. you? Hello. Yeah. You my name you. is Sibisola. Good, you did. You did it. Good, good. <laughs> How are you doing this morning? I am good. I am very good. You're very, very good. good. I see you're you. excited. Yes. So how do you feel? Let's start with that. How do you feel being feel... in Iwaju? It feels good. It feels good because finally it's not just there's something from Nigeria with Nigerian set in Nigeria and I'm glad that I get to be part, part of it. It of makes it. me so happy. Good, fantastic. And it makes you stand out. You know yes. that, right? And my name is no longer Simisola by the way. My name is Simitola. <clears throat> my character's name is Tola. My Tola. name is Simisola. Simitola. So Simitola. Oh, point noted. Simitola. So Simitola. Is Simitola. Yes, ma'am. Fantastic. That's a yeah. nice merging. <laughs> who, who, who told you about that? Did you just My think teacher. about that? My Your teacher. teacher. I didn't go to school on Wednesday, so on Thursday, he said, Simitola, I said, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Me? <laughs> uh, it's nice. It's a, it's a good merge. It's a good merge. Have you always wanted to do acting? Hmm. If I'm going to be completely honest, at the time, I wanted to be a doctor Ooh. because I, I have been through a lot and I've met some really amazing doctors and I wanted to be one of them. But I've now changed my mind and now I want to be an architect. But now that I've done Iwaju and now that I've had fun doing it, I want to do more. I want to do, do more. Mm. You said you have been through a lot. How do you mean by that? Do you want to tell me about it? Health-wise. Health-wise. Yeah. And it's amazing that regardless of everything you've been through health-wise, you're still shining like the star that you are, right? Yes. So what do we say? Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I was expecting that. <laughs> Thank you, God. You'll be thankful because yes. regardless of everything, you're still shining like the star that you are. So now that Iwaji is out, you're now reconsidering going into acting. An architect. Why were you thinking of architecture? I I really love I love buildings. I love beautiful buildings. Mm. I love. I just. There's just something about them that makes me so happy, that makes me want to smile. Mm, fantastic. I, I might also be an interior designer because I like, I like transforming people's mm. spaces. And I you like love colors as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. What oh time, at what year were you, how old were you when you recorded Iwaju? When I started, I was 10, but I think 
I I finished everything when I was eleven, but they called me back for like thing like I think there was a technical uh, yeah I think there was a technical problem to um last year I think I think the beginning of last year they called me back to do a couple lines again. Mm -hmm. So how old are you now? Twelve. My birthday is next month. Yay! (laughs) Happy birthday! (laughs) Thank you. So you recorded when you were um, ten. Yes. Although what you did was mostly voicing, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's an animation series. Animation cartoon, yeah, amazing kids cartoon, right? For people that don't know animation, it's cartoon, so it's cartoon. So all you did basically was voicing, voice acting, yes. And you know, voice acting can be really difficult for some people. So how was it like for you? The whole experience of recording all of that, you know, that you're not really acting. You're only using your voice. You're only Mm -hmm. reading the script, but then you have to say it in a way that is convincing, like you were there. Ron, mm-hmm. my name is Tola. No, he's my friend. Leave him alone. Yeah. So all the emotions and all of that that went into um, the movie. So how was it like when you were recording and having to switch your emotions to happy, not so happy, you know, excited, sad, mm-hmm. and all of that? So how was it like? Tell me. It was okay. When, because I haven't done this before, before I started, I did a couple voice lessons just to help me make sure that I could do it better than, like, me without voice lessons would have been able to. But Tola was a lot like me. She is a lot like me. So it made it a bit easier to step into her shoes. Another thing, sugar. Mm. Sugar. Because it can get, it's harder than it looks. It can get really tiring. So So always taking sugar. Something to keep me going, keep me going, yeah. Mm. Things like and what? I would take but you're just licking sugar, like no. that. Because kids will be like, okay. oh, you're licking sugar. <laughs> no, so, what, how do you mean? The, first ta- the very first time, they had a bag of gummies, Haribo gummies. And then I told them, there's these, there's the sour ones with the sugar around it. I love, I love those Haribo gummies more than anything. Well, not more than anything, but more than any other gummy. So that's what they had for me. And when I needed, when I would come out, I had my mom take <laughs> <laughs> for more energy, so you could go Keep on and on. on. Yeah. So you said you took some voice classes, right, mm-hmm. to help your voice, to help you, you know, transition well when you need to transition. So what's the first thing that you would tell any child? You know, children would be like, "Oh, she was an Iwaju. Oh, she did her voice like this, like that. Wow, that's fantastic. I think I want to be like that. I want to do what she has done." So what's the first thing that you think that children should consider kids that want to do go into voice acting what's the first thing that they should consider when they want to go into voice acting what's the first thing Mm. they need to have or the first thing they need to do or tips you can give to them see i'm joining everything together first of all (laughs) make sure you show emotion because if your voice is flat then well we don't want a flat voice so showing emotion means that you know how to switch you know how to yeah but as well, I think, yeah, I think that's my advice. Okay, so they should be sure able they to show emotion. Be able to show mm-hmm. emotion. And, and that way. when you get refused, don't give up. Keep trying. Keep going. Yeah, because I know there's so many kids that do. Have you auditioned yeah. before? Before that, did you ever do any audition? <laughs> no. So that was your first shot at it. That then... audition was by chance. I wow. did that audition. Before that audition, I had um, I was in the hospital with appendicitis. Oh. So I think two weeks before that, I had gotten home, and then, yeah. And then the so it was my opportunity first time. came, and then you told your mommy, "I will do it regardless." She told me that there was like a cast. There was a casting call, I think, that mm. for girls within a certain age range. I can't remember. It was ten to something. I had just turned ten. I was like, "Oh, what if they don't pick me?" But I was so happy because they did pick me. And I didn't expect them to pick me. Amazing. So how many people were there when you went for the casting? Hmm. How many people auditioned? Yeah. I can't remember. I feel like I asked and I was told, but I cannot remember. But did you meet many people or it was a closed audition for Oh, you? no, no, no. It was, a it was like in a voice. In a, in a voice oh, notes. okay. So yeah. that means so many people must have applied. Yeah. And then at the end of the day, they picked you. That's great. Hey. And you said it was by chance. It so was you know by that chance. thing they say that time and chance happens to everybody when it's the right time. It's the right time. Fantastic. And then I love the advice that you give to kids. We're not done yet. So amazing kids, let's see 
um, the role that Simi Tola. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Simi name. Tola. Yes, the role yes, that Simi yes, Tola yes. played in Iwaju. Let's have a, 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 a bit. Let's enjoy a bit of the trailer. I'll be right okay. back. Amazing kids. Welcome back, amazing kids. So that was um, the trailer. short trailer of Iwaju. That's the Disney um, series that centered on Africans in Africa yes. with Africa. Yes, amazing. Yes. And we have one of, like I said earlier, we have one of the cast in the studio. The one and only Simitola. <laughs> is now Simitola, not Simisola. <laughs> and do you know what happened while I was playing that trailer? Simitola was actually reciting everything word for yeah. word just like no let me i wish i could play all of that for you it's amazing so I th that. this is the point oh. where you say okay now that iwaju yeah. is out mm -hmm. how has it been how's life been how's um relations with your friends mm -hmm. how do they see you now is there any change in how people see you how people address you what are you enjoying that you're not enjoying before <laughs> tell me how it is being a star <laughs> there's this one boy in my class i will not mention names no you don't have but to mention he names. said that can i have an he said can i have a picture by the way what also he did not have his phone one also have phones in school so yeah. he did <laughs> somebody else we asked for an autograph i can't remember who mm. but it was funny so i have nice. my friend, so please how does it feel it feels good this entire week there was a girl, um, I think on Thursday, that asked me. I'm so sorry to ask, but are you the girl that did the Disney thing? Yes. yes I <laughs> so many people have asked me that at this point, I don't even let them finish asking me. Yes, 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 yes I, I am. Yes, I am the one. Yes, I am the one. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're excited, yes. right? You feel good about it. Yes. And that's why you reconsidered acting. Yes. So now you're thinking about it fully. Yes. So I have one question that I ask every child that sits in my chair. So if you had the opportunity to be the president of Nigeria for one day, What's the first thing that you change? The first thing that I would change. Yeah. Wow, there's a lot of things that okay. A lot of things. So let's Let start me... with the first one and then we'll move to the rest. First of all, I know that this cannot happen in one day. Yeah. But I feel like how do I say this? Hmm. Say it the way you want to say it. I'm trying to make sure that it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a complicated thought. Mm. So Wait, I can break it down. Health? We need to... Okay. Yes, health. But we, I feel like we as Nigerians need to stop... As like different tribes, we need to stop warring against each other. Mm. And we need to band together and build this country up for the greater good. We need to band together for the greater good. Yeah. Mm. So you stop, you try to bring... Yeah. That's why you said it's complicated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, because there's is deep there's it's a lot of really drama deep. that goes back years and i feel yeah. like we just need to start sorting out the kinks because if one if we are as a country if we're not together then what are we then what are we, we then what are we so it's togetherness yes it's always to bring people together to make sure that people are one that's fantastic i like that peace Peace and unity. unity. It's even in our national anthem, right? <gasps> Peace really? and unity. So whether you're from the north, south, yes. west, east, we need to come together and be one. That's the only way that Nigeria can move forward. Maybe we should start following the anthem word for word. Maybe, right. <laughs> Let's really first be compatriots, you know? Like obey, that, obey the Karen's call. I know this economy. Don't you want to jack one? Uh, you say let's stop jack. Okay, okay, now I okay, actually, okay, you okay, have to okay, think okay, about okay, it. Okay, all right. I can travel for summer and say, okay, I'm going back home because once I'm there for too long, I'm like, huh. Mm. Let's just jollof yeah, rice. Right. Where's my jollof Where's jollof rice? Where's pepper? Jollof rice? Where's, pepper? Where's my American? Caucasians mm. cannot handle pepper and I don't, I don't. I tried KFC in the UK. I said, what am I eating? Hmm. What is this? What is this? You know, <laughs> this is not food. <laughs> I need real I'm food. Sorry. What are you feeding me? <laughs> Did you like soya? How is that abomination? <laughs> I mean, I miss my cousins. I miss my family. 
But at the same time, please, I'm fine. You're oh, fine. Oh, Nigeria. okay, it's okay, it's okay. That's the same thing I always think about. Oh, I feel like when everybody's going, I'm like, oh no, I don't want to go anywhere. I'm fine, but I like to travel. Yes, I like to travel. I like to travel just That's to change right environments right. and then come back yes. to my and Nigeria. And then I can come back and I'm and like, okay, I'm back. Price, you know, <laughs> and eat a foreign mm-hmm. roll. Yes. <laughs> one of my okay. friends ah, I'm sad one of my friends is moving Aww. I want to beat her I know it's not her fault but I'm, I'm angry at her uh, no don't be angry at her it's not her fault alright mm-hmm. fantastic I know we yeah. have a lot to gist about yeah. that's <laughs> live on the show so amazing yes, kids okay. now it's time for us to take our rhyme of the week okay. and the rhyme of the week is titled a rum sum sum a rum sum sum goody 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 rum sum sum is it like that rum rum, rum, rum. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> let's take the rhyme of the week and I'll be right back yes, Amazing Kids Show. Exclusive to Rhythm F- Exclusive to Rhythm FM and Silver Bear TV. Welcome back, Amazing Kids. A rum sum sum. A rum sum sum. Do you have a favorite mm-hmm. rhyme? Hmm. No. No. There's the one that I try. I keep trying to memorize. Peter picked a pack of I think the peppers one. How many pack of people pepper the pizza? Yes, pizza? <laughs> I, like, I never do it properly. Wow, and that's the one you like the most. The one that both of us don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the one that we know. Well, so that we can recite sells, it. Or oh, Shelly sells seashells okay. by the seashore. Uh, Ow. That's, that's, a, that's, that's, a that's a tongue twister. That's a tongue twister, not a rhyme. Shelly shells. <laughs> We'll do tongue twister. This one you're listening tongue twisters. Then you will do one tongue twister before you leave. Oh. All right, amazing kids. Now it's time for us to take this week's story. And this okay. week's story is titled, Time is Precious. Pay attention when we come back. We'll open the phone line so that you can ask all your questions. Not forgetting our role. I'll be right back. Amazing Kids Show. TV. Amazing Kids Show. Exclusive to Rhythm FM and Silver Bear TV. Welcome back, amazing kids. That mm-hmm. was a fantastic story of time. Time is precious. Time is precious. precious, precious. I think even the title of the story tells yeah. us what we should learn from the story. But what did you learn from that story? Manage your time. Make sure that you're not... Use your time properly so that you get to enjoy things in life, so that you get to experience beautiful things so that you get to witness great things yeah use your time properly make sure that you always manage your time properly because there's a there's tick tick there's this rhyme tick tick says the clock tick tick what you have to do do quick time waits for no Mm -hmm. one the clock is ticking so you have to always Mm -hmm. always make good use of your time all right amazing kids we're going to open the phone lines now so that you call in and tell me what you learned from the story and ask simitola any question (laughs) you want to ask her but i see the lines are already buzzing do not forget the rules Rule number one, make sure you reduce the volume of your TV or radio before you call in so that we can have a good conversation. You did good last week. Let's do the same this week, all right? Make sure that you're ready to call in before you call in. Don't be watching your TV or listening to your radio. Then I pick your call. You're like, ha, ah, ah. ha. You don't know that I've picked up your phone. So make sure you're looking at your phone when you call in. Make sure you're ready to call in before you call in. All right. Hello, good morning. Oh, this person was not ready. Or maybe he ran for too long. All right, amazing kids. Make sure you're ready to call in. Reduce the volume of your TV or radio before you call in. Hello? Hello? Hi, good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Lauren and I'm calling from George. Yay! Uh uh-uh, uh, what happened, love it? Oh, that broke my heart. Love it from just try to call back, all right? Hello, good morning. Good morning, man. Good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Jay. I'm calling from Plateau State. Plateau State, yay! All right, what did you learn from the story? <laughs> Reduce the volume of your TV. I can hear myself. So what did you learn from the story? What did you learn from the story? 
I learned to manage my time because time is precious. Time is precious and it waits for no one, right? Yes, ma'am. Fantastic. Do you want to speak with our guests? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Say me good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. You don't want to ask him any question. I, I Do you want to ask her any question? I... Huh? Do you want to ask her any question? Yes, ma. Okay, go ahead. She's here with you. How will we manage our time? <laughs> manage, okay. For example, if your school starts, I, I, let me be honest. I have a problem with this. But if your school, if your school starts, let me, let me use myself as an example. If my school starts at eight ten, if your school starts at eight ten. You should be awake by six. Hmm, let's say six thirty. You should have showered. You should have eaten. You should have had everything because Lagos traffic in Lagos here personally for me, traffic. This traffic is not funny. So so that you don't get to school five minutes before you're supposed to start. Make sure that you're awake early. Make sure that you're leaving the house on time. Make sure that you have everything with you. So that's that's an okay. example of how to manage your time. Are you okay, okay with that? Huh? Are you okay with that answer? Yes, ma. All right. Thank you very thank much. You. Have a great weekend. Thank you for calling. You. Bye. Bye. All right. So how can you manage your time? You make sure, <laughs> you make sure that if you're in Lagos, you wake up early. Uh. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, darling. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Lovett and I'm calling from Just. You're calling from Just. Is this Lovett that called earlier? Yes. Oh, finally, I picked your call again. All right, Lovett. What did you learn from the story? I learned that you should always manage our time. Mm, you should always manage your time. Why? Tell me why. Because time is precious. Time is precious. Good. Would you like to speak with our guest? Yes. All right. Go ahead. Simitala is here. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay. Do you have a question? Yes. How will we learn how to manage our time well? Uh-uh. You're asking <laughs> the same question again. Don't you want to ask another question? I didn't hear that question from the other Okay. Oh, okay, let me try okay, okay, okay. Okay, like I said, I'm going to use myself as, a, as an example again because I feel like this is the best way to explain it. Here in Lagos, first of all, it's not Lagos without the traffic, but the traffic, if you are not careful, it can be very scary. So you have to be you have to be awake early, you have to make sure that you're showered, eat, make sure that you have everything with you so that you don't have to say, Oh my god, I need to go back. I forgot something. Make sure that you get to school on time, make sure that you're there, make sure that you're ready to learn. Is that answer okay? okay. So in essence, yes. so all the yeah. kids are not calling and asking Simitala mm-hmm. the same question. <laughs> How do we manage our time? How you can manage your time is making sure that you do things at the right time if it's time for you to study make sure you mm-hmm. study at that time don't procrastinate, don't procrastinate. Ah. all right don't procrastinate okay. procrastination is a thief of time bye. okay fantastic have a lovely weekend bye okay thank you i love you i bye. love you too. <laughs> <laughs> all right hello good morning Hello, Hello, good morning. Okay, I think there's something wrong with your line. Try calling back. Hello, good morning. Hello, Ma. Yes, darling. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Jasmine and I'm calling from Abuja. Oh, what is Jasmine, right? Yes. Jasmine. All right, Jasmine. What did you learn from the story? I learned that you should keep your time. You should because the, manage your time because time is precious. Time is precious. Yes, 
Okay, Jasmine, I want to ask you a different question. Now that you've learned that, what is that change that you will make in the things that you do so that you can manage your time properly? Okay. Tell me, tell me. I should tell you what. Now you've learned to manage your time properly. So is there something that you used to do before? You don't manage time properly before. What's the major yes, change? Time is precious. Yes. Can you tell me, give me a personal example of the things you will now start to do now so that you can manage your time properly. Jasmine, who is that? Jasmine, is that your younger sister? Yes. yes. Okay. Your younger sister heard my question, but you did not hear my question. Did you hear my question? My younger sister. Okay. Jasmine, did you hear my question? Yes. Okay. Give me an answer then. I since you heard me. No. Oh, your sister does not want you to answer. <laughs> it's fine. All right, Jasmine. Thank you for calling. Kisses to your sister. Bye. Mwah. Bye. Love you. Love you too. You don't want to answer my question. You now brought your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Uh -uh, what's happening? I think that line is... Hi, good morning. Uh, good morning. Yeah, good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? Yes, uh, my name is Agneo Chu. I'm calling from Bayasa State. Okay, Bayasa. You sound like an amazing daddy. <laughs> are you an amazing daddy or amazing uncle? Which one? Your yeah, amazing uncle. Amazing uncle. So is our baby there? Yeah. Or you're the one that wants to yeah. speak to them? Are you the one that I wants want to speak to, to them? Yes, I'm the one that I want to speak. Okay, oh. amazing uncle. What do you want to tell us today? Uh, yes, uh, I really like the story. I really like this mama. I I want to say the the show is not only for. <laughs> it's not only for kids. Yeah, I, <laughs> for everybody. We know that parents are watching as well. Yes. Yeah, but it's the amazing kids show, regardless. <laughs> Thank you. Do you have any advice for the children watching or listening? Okay, so I made it, Uncle. You did not obey our rule. But thank you so much for calling. At this juncture, I'll have to end the call. I can hear my voice. Thank you so much for calling. Bye. Yes, the show is for... Yes, parents can... Mm -hmm. I would not say the show is not only for kids. It's for yes. kids. But of course, yes. parents can pay attention and then learn a lot. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm Susie and I'm calling from Lagos. You're calling from Lagos. Yeah, they allow Lagos callers to call you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what did you learn from the story? I learned that we should always finish our time because procrastination is a piece of time. Yes, procrastination is a thief of time. How old are you? I'm five. You're five? You're so smart. <laughs> <laughs> when someone compliments you, you say thank you, okay? So now say thank you. Thank you, ma. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you want to speak with our guest? Do you want to speak with our guest? No. Okay, go ahead. She can hear Good you. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> Do you have any question for her? Are you there? Uh oh. I think that was the network. Now you're about to influence me to start speaking like you. Me? No. Kids just like to influence my voice. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Victory and I'm calling from Dallas. Your name is Victory? Yeah. Oh no, you're my namesake. 
Do you know? Okay. Do you know that? <laughs> What's my name? Your name is Victory. Oh, and now you know that your name is Victory. <laughs> so, so when can we meet up? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Victory. How old are you, Victory? I'm thirteen. Thirteen. Fantastic. All right. What did you learn from the story? I learned that we should not. We should not. Victory. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh oh. Victory, victory, hallelujah. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Natalie from Lagos. <laughs> is that your friend? Is that your friend? <laughs> Oh, so Hi, you know I'm laughing. I guess you're a friend. Hi. Hi. Did you read your homework? Sorry. Never mind. I'll ask you later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Natalie, speak louder so that we can hear you. Where are you calling from? I'm coming from Lagos. From Lagos. All right. First, you have to tell me what you learned from the story, and then go ahead and chat with your friend. <laughs> I learned how to manage your time appropriately in order to do the things that you want to do. Okay, can you put your phone close to your mouth so that um, you'll be audible? Is it possible to do I that? Learned, okay. I learned to manage your time appropriately in order to do the things you want to do. Fantastic. To Fantastic. All right. So, Simisola is your friend. Are you best friends? Um, I, yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's because we're going to different schools. Uh, okay, so what's your question for your best friend? <laughs> um, why is it important to manage your time? Did you hear that? Yes, I did. Um, I'm going to use my answer again. Or, hmm. This is well, you're, 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 um, you're, you're, you're her friend and you've been watching the show and I told her that nobody should ask that question again. I have a different take on it this You time. have a different thing. For example, because like, your friend. cherish your time with other people. <laughs> cherish your time share with other people because you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. You never know when somebody's just going to disappear, God forbid, or, but you never, just cherish the time spent. With people that you love, with people that love you, with people who want to spend time with you. Mm. And that's because time is precious. Yes. We don't know tomorrow. Precious. So we when don't know sleep, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So make sure that you spend tangible time, quality time, and yes. cherish the people that you can see while you can see them. Yes. Natalie, are you okay with that answer? Yes, I am. Thank you, you are. All right. Thank you for watching, Natalie. Bye -bye. And calling in. Much bye. Bye. Okay. You want to have friends <laughs> like your friends. So that when I'm on a show, a live show, they can I'm call in. The They're waiting for the rest of them. I wow. The of Hello. Them. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, darling. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Mike. I'm coming from Ikorodu. You're calling from where? Ikorodu. Ikorodu. All right, Michael. What did you learn from the story? I learned that we should let's mind our time because time waits for nobody. Time waits for nobody. Fantastic. How old are you, Michael? I'm 14 years old. 14? What would you like to be when you grow older? I would like to be a newscaster. A new pastor, come on! This is the first kid on my show that will tell me they want to be a newscaster. Why do you want to be a newscaster? Because to make people aware of what's going on in my country. Hmm, that's interesting. Like that. That's interesting. I like, I like that. that. I like that. Thank you so much for calling, and I hope that all your dreams come true. Amen. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> I just thought to ask. I knew he was going to say something different. Hello. Hello. People are calling on that line. I don't know what happens. Hello. Good morning. Is anybody there? Okay. I said, make sure you call. So this will be our last call. Hello? 
Hello. Hi. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Elliot. I am calling from Benin. Benin! I've been waiting for a Benin call. <laughs> All right. What did you learn from the story? That is not good to that is good to manage time it's good to manage time so after today will you manage your time properly now what do you say will you manage your time properly now yes as from today okay good all right thank you for calling bye bye my sister is here okay good to come to your sister hello sister my name is Annabelle. Annabelle! How old are you, Annabelle? I'm eight years old. Fantastic! Annabelle, what would you like to be when you grow up? I want to be a medical doctor. Come on! Why do you want to be a medical doctor? Because they treat people. Ah, will you treat me? Yes. Oh, that's so sweet of you, Annabelle. Thank you for calling and be good. May all your dreams come true. All right, thank you for calling. Bye. All right, at this juncture, this is where we we'll draw the curtain on today's show. It was fantastic speaking with you. You obeyed the rules today. Let me clap for you. <laughs> and you clap for yourselves as well. You see, the calls were smooth. I'm so sorry I can't take more calls because we are already out of time. Oh, what do we do? Should I take more calls? Hmm, one more. Let me try. If we can take one more. Oh, we're already we're already out of time. Hmm. Let me take one. one. They're going to find me for doing this, but then it's amazing, kids. Hello. Hello. Good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Sarah, and I'm calling from River State. River State. Lagos State. Lagos State. All right, Sarah. What did you learn from today's story? Uh, I learned that if you. You should always manage your time. Manage your time. Why? Why should you manage your time? Why? Why? Why is it good to manage your time? Fantastic. All right. Thank you so much for calling, Said. Have a great weekend. Fantastic. So what's the major thing? We're talking about time management, time mm -hmm. management. What's the major thing that you think that distracts children these days and makes them not manage their time? You know, I said something. Read when you're supposed to read. Play mm -hmm. when you're supposed to play and all of that. But what's the major thing? Why do you think that children are easily distracted these days? Children my age or... All ages. <laughs> The ones that already mm. have things to do, not the toddlers now. Okay, you know, those okay. ones, they, the only thing they have to do is to mm. eat and sleep. But of course, you don't have to just eat and sleep. You have tasks. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to be completely honest, yeah. people around my age, mm. the internet, that's in all honesty, the internet, I feel like I used to be distracted a lot by it. But one of my goals is yes, to stop procrastinating. Because, for example... This Wednesday, I'm not sure what happened. All of my teachers, even the teachers that don't have class on Wednesday, everybody assigned us homework. So yesterday, I said I need to do all of this. So I did, I, I think I did four of them. So so you're saying the internet. Yes. That's internet. Mm -hmm. So in case they don't hear internet, I, most of you that use yeah. phones, right? Tabs, it, pads. So the internet, what, what do kids really do on the internet these days? Play games? Some play games. Younger kids play games. People TikTok. my age use TikTok. I do not have TikTok. So why, why does the internet words. distract you? I don't know. I feel, apparently TikTok's algorithm is like, you just keep, like, you can't stop. You can't stop. Yeah, but I feel like we just need to work harder to make sure that we to, we to, where am I, what am I doing? Mm. I feel like my friends have a pretty, sometimes they fit a bit. Well, they falter a bit, but then they have a pretty good grip on it. Mm. Just do it. So the advice day. is to make sure that we manage our time. Don't spend mm -hmm. too much time Don't on the internet. Time. Don't spend too much time on your phones. Mm -hmm. Manage your time so that you can achieve something tangible at the end of, of the, the day. day. So that you don't spend the whole day being on TikTok, being on your tab, playing games 
when you're supposed to read at the end of the day when it's time for exams say it's so hard i'm not yeah. happy anything but you'd have read thank you so much for coming yeah. on the show it's been amazing thank having you, you on the show would you like me. to come again if you will have me again, I, sure. I am it. asking you. Oh, oh, okay, to have you sure, again. why not? Give me a big hug. A big hug. A big hug. Mm. All right, amazing kids, amazing parents. Thank you so much for staying tuned on the show. It's been fantastic. And you did good with the calls today. Don't forget to tune into the Amazing Kids show every Saturdays, 10 a.m. at on Silverbird TV and Rhythm FM. This is where your kids are to be. And don't forget, you deserve the very best. Never settle for less. My name is Victory Wilson, and I will see you next week, Saturday. Till then, I love you. Bye. Bye. Amazing Kids Show. Exclusive.